recording. Okay. So first things first, uh, I did uh, I did the literal parsing, which is this, which is literally just this. Let me see. Actually, not it. Did. Just this. You parse the boolean, an integer. And okay, a rational and the literal is just an amalgamation of those. Yeah, okay. So we want to change to parsec now. Is that it? Yeah, instead of using auto parsec, which is the one that I learned uh, in the first place, I'm going to try to swap this for uh, parsec because it has capabilities mm -hmm. of. Does this thing has also do notation? Yeah. Uh, auto parsec, I mean. Auto par well, as far as I can, I'm not 100% sure, because usually auto parsec is kind of like applicative stuff all the mm, time. Because I know that, well, f parsec supports, and I saw somewhere uh, parsec also doing do notation. So. No, no, if it has, a, it is a transformer, a mono transformer. It it, it must have it must have. Uh, uh, do notation. I don't think this one has because, like I said, this one is kind of like simple stuff. You don't want to do fancy stuff. Um, you, here you can customize the error messages and stuff. But because we want also to the lab to the library to tell us where the thing is 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 breaking, like the the line and the the column. Uh, parsec is a better bet in this case, but I want to do this, this experiment because I think that the functions have the same name. So, if you go to package.yaml, I think it will be short, but actually, we can do like that, which means that now this is this is. But how the heck do we have so many dependencies already? We don't have many. We what have are you these. There's like ten. Yeah, we have the base. This one I'm gonna use in the future to make common lines. This is to extend the base. This is for uh, this is for this shoe is to have great like error error not error but common line duties. Let's say this is for mm -hmm. performance. This is for, for, for performance performance. Another a way to have environment variables if you want to don't use to don't want to use the common line transformers because you're gonna want to print stuff at some point. Uh, parsing and this I can remove because I was experimenting using a scientific library to to handle rationals. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. So let's it's try import built. import. What is the name? I think you just parsec. text 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 parsec. Is there any convention on this sort of thing? Yeah. So. Well, like because f for me it's strange that you put text dot parsec and not like parsec dot text. It's because the the like the parent in this in this actually in this case the grand parent module is the text module. Yeah, I and get then it. it's kind of like this is inside. Yeah, the this text is already you're just like ex augmenting modules that previously exist. Oh yeah. Right? So let's try to use this one. So text parser combinators. Uh, by the way, you can. Sure. Yeah, I would say just to uh, do a like expand this buffer so it doesn't keep chopping, but it's fine. Yeah, like this. Um, we want we we need the char. It's still using auto parsec, as you can see. I need to recompile the thing in the terminal to make Emacs not dumb, but I want to see if we have decimal and string and rational. Okay, so string, yes, rational. I don't. No. I don't think it says rational. I think you need to make a float. Um, what which else? Which is just using? like numbers dot and then numbers again. Decimal. Oh, we don't have decimal though. Yeah, one of the examples of the thing is making a decimal parser, so a float parser. Eight. But that's kind of dumb. Oh, but that's easy to do, man. Yeah, but that Just that shouldn't be something that we should care in a... Oh, we have a between. Yeah, that's just do... That's cool. You can do the float with a between, two, two many numbers, and then a dot. No, we 
can make those, but if it's a library dedicated to parsing, it doesn't make sense to not have those. That's what I'm... Like, auto those yeah, out of the that's box. that's so stupid. Let's not do that. Um, People just thought that. No, why are you going to bother making the the, the the char one and not going to bother making the number one? Like, it doesn't make oh, it... Because the char sense. is more basic. You're, you're going to have to do that already for other things. Okay, let's just try to find it a little bit more because I'm I would be very surprised if this doesn't have it. No. All the screens, man. Hmm. Okay. Dude, if F per sec doesn't have it, probably doesn't as well. Oh, this doesn't have it. No, it doesn't. That's what I'm saying. The first example is making a decimal parser. <sighs> why, people? Why? Why you make me do this? Okay, so we're gonna have to make those. Yeah. I'll just make a... Uh... Actually, let's see if this compiles first. Yeah, move that thing. I... Is the type parser the same? I don't think so. I think it's parser D, something like this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, and all of these, we also need to go. Um, let's this, the, just delete this file for now. And this is combinators. Oh! Parser T, I think. Not uh, cool. Okay, just so like parser, that was let's something Let's see there. how the char is being done. Oh, parser T, T. parsec T. Holy fucking crap. Okay, let's copy this line. Uh. Oh, they use the same... Oh man, it's the exact... Dude, F parsec is literally just a copycat. <laughs> it's the same thing. Are you surprised? No, man, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with .NET kennels. Top of it. That's extraordinarily bad. This one because um, how are we gonna? We need to understand what these other things are doing at some point. The stream. Yeah, the stream, the S and the M. Uh, this if it's the same thing as in F sharp, it's literally just a like a array of stuff of the next things that you can read and then you can just like uh, put a pointer there start reading well i know it doesn't work like that in haskell maybe but anyway just start reading for that point it's if you want you can go back for this you can guy. save state like you have all this stuff but i don't think you need a string on that thing because that's not like a high level like that's that's for a bare bones I think in our case it's like a already a top level parser. So yeah, no, but the parser, no, but the parser is also asking for S U N M, whatever parser T is, and then we are saying, oh, whatever this S and state, I think it's the state, the user state, and the value. Just Bar comment this, man. Comment this. Comment this. No, no, comment the type annotation. Oh. Yeah, that's that's guess. There it is. Oh. Uh, this? What is that? It's totally destroyed, I guess. <laughs> what happened? What the heck? Uh, okay, so let's do text parsec prim parsec t. Whatever that is. And I think now it comes the type, so literal. So it's gonna be this, which is actually this. If I'm not mistaken, text parsec dot prim dot parsec t. Okay. Now we have a problem with this guy. Ambiguous, ambiguous reference. Okay, so it's already importing. Okay. Expecting three more arguments. You see? Comment this line, man. Comment this shit. Oops. 
You're using an ML language. Don't bother with types. They're cringe. Okay, so what about the char? What is he complaining? Um, I have no, absolutely I'm not seeing no their message. Put the cursor there. Ambiguous types reference arising from the use of char. Yeah, so you do need the, those two craps. Let me see here on the cringe documentation. Parsec. I kind of want to discover what is the other thing first, man. What exactly yeah. is the... Oh, here. An instance of stream has stream type S, underlying modded M, and a token type T. Determine when the stream. We can use the do notation, but that's kind of cringe. In this, yeah, we can, but in that case, it's not... I don't think that's going to help that much. Uh, okay, but... Uh, just one there, sec. I saw here using this type here gen parser kind of makes sense but i don't know what that is to be honest like look here i miss it because it's only one parser so take a look okay Now we have just to discover this. No instance for arising from the use of char. The char doesn't thing... doesn't char need to be a function? No, char is a function, but I am already fulfilling no, its needs. You see here, Why? I'm providing the char and then okay. this. Then I'm trying... Okay. Then what I'm trying to do is to do an application no instance for arising from the use of char. No instance for. What do you mean? In the second argument of that. Okay, what about test being char t alternative char f? What are you? Do you exist? Are you a thing? Oh, no. Okay, it's not. It's definitely not. Uh, import... The book what I sent. Oh, you sent something, sorry. Yes. Where it is. Gen parser char st string. What is that? That's the annotation I saw with dude here, using here. No, but we do have the Charmin. It's this. Yes, I don't know what that is, so that's what I'm saying. Look for this annotation. Gen parser. Okay, here. Okay, did, oh, here. Okay, type char parser, gen parser, char st. Whatever that but is. But I hate this. What is st? I hate this. st is probably something in regards to state. Yes, why don't you write state instead of st? I hate this. Well, it's like a you're gonna combo. get you're gonna get into very 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 rapidly into literal naming territory if you're doing this in that strategy. Man, it's like oh, uh, Nathan complains about oh, the language is doing this, but like Okamo does that as well. Like he list dot hd. Okay, you know, like in this case in particular, it's head. But they why not bother just writing head? It's because if you follow that strategy, at some point, you're going to have a problem. Like, you're going to have really? a three-word sentence naming and stuff. is that a problem? Well, it depends on, like, it, it starts to get a very in a very subjective manner pretty quickly, I guess. I would, I would be bothered having an, a thing with, like, three long words as the name of one thing. But if you're separating things with modules and everything just fine, I don't think that's a problem. Oh, I agree that in this case, S but in Haskell, ST is pretty well known to be state, so it's kind of the same it thing as It forces you to think. It forces you, like, it forces you to come back, to pick one step back and think of a good name for the thing. Instead of just jamming everything. Yeah, the naming is a problem. But we are also using a library that nobody used, no, no, none of us used before, so that's also why we are getting... Look for... Uh, let, let me look at a tutorial. 
What I'm not understanding is that rising from the use of Char. What do oh, you Oh, here, mean, dude. Brother? Look at look at this dude. He's using the same thing but with do notation. He's doing a CSV parser. Ah, dude, look at this. This is the most simple shit he, he did here. It's an... Oh, I don't think. Here, look there. Okay, so the type that he provided is gen parser st whatever the hell is that um, like that uh, now it's complaining about the gen parser stuff um, this is inside parsec.char which we do have Okay, maybe commenting all of those. No. Okay. Not in scope type construct type constructor or class. Cool. Uh um, is importing text dot parser combinators dot parsec. Only that. Okay. So he's probably doing this. Yeah, it's just that. Oh, it worked. Yeah, I think it worked. Okay, so we gotta discover why you need this to make the, the type. There's no definition, right? No, there is no. What is no, it? we do have the definition. It's here, right? Gen parser. No, but I mean, it's not documented, like written. Parse what it does. Talk. Yeah, I never saw this name before. ST is probably for some kind of state. Or token, I guess. Yeah, talk probably for token. So it's a parsec, which I also don't know what it is. Oh, it's just an alias for the transformer. So it's the parser, it's a list, list of tokens, tokens, and a state. Oh, uh, this probably okay. is the string, the yes. input. In this case. Oh, not right. For state. Makes sense. And they consume the input. Oh, it's the, the same thing we're doing in LFA. Like, it's the string of input. Sorry, the string that you're feeding the parser and the things that you parsed. Um, yeah, when so what is what is the, the, uh, this is just an alias for this. So this is going to be the token that we... I'm having a hard time understanding what these three are. No, do change to a boolean, whatever. I think the, the thing would be the state... The f before the state would be uh, bool, and then the second would be char, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, can you explain to me what is the purpose of those those three? That's what I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know, but I don't know what is the purpose to explain, I'm just guessing. I guess the first one, the first char, represents the things of the tokens you consume, the type you're returning of the, char of the parser. And the second is the string that you are uh, going over, which is and this, which is stupid because it's always like shards, isn't it? I have no idea. And another thing that to pay attention to is that this string has three things, and the documentation has only two things, which is cool, right? Let me see. Uh... Oh, he has an example here. Each line contains one. He's talking about a CSV parser. So each line. Oh, look at this man. CSV file contains zero, zero or more lines. Each of each of which is terminated by an end of the line character, EOL. And then the signature for the whole CSV file is gem parser char st list of list of string yeah following this menu is pretty hard i would say i'll send the link here yeah yeah the type signature is totally different than f sharp it's just the usage that is the same Yeah, 
Yeah, but I just want to know what exactly. Oh, there's something on Rust Wiki. I just want to understand what is these three things. Each line contains one or more cells separated by comma. Yeah, but why yeah, is this char? Well. And then we have an S. A, 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 a probably is a string, as far as I understood. And then. Hashtag discover. Dude, a Haskell wiki is not loading. Okay, I think that the last one after the ST is the output. Yeah, that would make sense, but... What is the it first It doesn't make sense. Doing? Why would you need the first one? Like, it's always char. Yeah. Why do you need to make that explicit, man? Cell content. Char, ST, char. Yeah, Jim Parser always picks a char, right? Whatever no he's doing. I what, I, what I'm not understanding how this is a thing is the fact that... Okay, can you give me information about Jim Parser? Um, text parsec. Parser combinators dot parsec. Parser combinators parsec. Okay. Okay, so it has the kind star to star to star to star, so it does need three things, which makes sense. So the documentation is right, but that cool. always return. Yeah, you're right. Why do we have to pay to pass the first char? It, the token is always going to be a char type. I don't know. They might it's be really weird. They might have a special usage, or whatever. But man. Yeah, but now we can now we can make what we want. We know that this is the one. Uh, uh, bull, right? Then we can make. Uh, I don't know. Let's call this true. Do we have, uh, I need to understand if this has uh, uh, functor, we're going to discover right now. Okay, seems to be happy. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so let's revisit this. This is not a parsec t, I don't know, I don't know, whatever that. This is a gen parser, char, st, literal. Then, oops. Then, you're gonna do that. You're gonna do that, and then you're gonna do that. And this is, uh, this is this, and this is this. Okay! <laughs> Cool. Yeah, but that's very stupid, man. Wait, but we, this is just a type alias, which means that we can use a, the, the better name. Where is the thing? Here. Parsec. Okay, so it's going to be... Let's, let's try to replace gen parser for parsec. Parsec. Okay, now it is complaining, which is not cool. I need the token... Garbage. You need to add into a list yes, of tokens. So the share would be a list. Go back there, man, to the alias. Like you just send the talk to a list and then the ST. That's it. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that part I got it. I'm not, I'm just trying to understand where, how to make this type check. That This is definitely not it. Because it shouldn't, we should, I don't want to use the gym parser. That's what I, kind of what I want to do. I want to use, because this is what we have. And this works. Okay. We want to make the same thing, but using, not using the, the alias. Because the alias is grabbing more stuff, including the shark. 
So we want so parsec. Just do parsec talk st. Okay, so parsec. And then wrap the char in a list. Parser, you did parser, not parsec. Okay, you were right, that's cool. And, and this is also an alias. To parser t. Which yeah. is using identity later. That's that's kind of fine, I guess. Okay, <laughs> let's see if it works. How do you run a parser? Oh, here. Oh, but that's the same garbage, man. Oh, it also has a parse test. Parser run. Yeah, I don't know. For the expression parse test run. p input apply applies a parser p against input and prints the result to std out used for testing parsers. Did I like you? it. Okay, so test. But to run, that's that's not run, right? It will apply the parser, which is what I want. Yeah, and print on std io, which is not what you want. No, I want to print it. I want to see what's no, going to happen. For testing, but not for running. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Variable not in scope. Not cool. The variable not in scope. What do you mean, brother? Hello, Nathan. Hello. No. no. Uh, we are changing libraries. Already? Yeah. What was the cause? We are using, instead of using... Um, instead of using Anto Parsec, uh, uh, Margheta told me a different library that has the thing that we want about... And that is? About the... Source second. code, source code tracking. Cool. Okay, this works. Okay. Hey, but you're not running the parser, right? No, I, I ran it. I totally ran no, it. No, you're testing. That's different. You're not running the parser. No, I am running. This is the input. No, man. This is converting the shit to STDIO. You're not running, oh, grabbing the Yeah, SP, no. Yeah, no. In that case, yes. But that's quite what I want to do anyway. Okay, but because this library is pretty weird, we don't have. We're gonna to have to make the numbers parser, which is kind of meh, but okay. I don't think that's weird, but because it doesn't make sense to have a library without the basic ones. <laughs> but well. Well, you have the basic is, ones. I guess. No numbers are basic, man. What are you talking? No, the numbers are com complex types. I don't know if I buy that. No, you have numbers. You have digits. Yeah, you no. just don't have composed at least number those, formats. At Plus. least those. Yeah, I think that makes sense, Lemos. No, it doesn't. Well, Auto Parsec has. Well, it can, but numbers can be... Well, no, man. That's the difference. This is more what basic is, than this. What else is the limit of basic? Like, I, I don't know. I want now complex numbers. Like, I want Wait. to parse for complex numbers. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, it's not that it's not basic. It's just that numbers can be... <laughs> Many kinds of numbers, man. But digits, well, it's well, it cannot be in any other way, I guess. No, man. I, I don't think you guys understand what is considered basic. Let's pick. Do you want to know what is the ceiling just do of between auto with many, dude. I don't know why is you're complaining. The... Just do Wait, a many levels. between. That's it. No, Magetta, it's also not about we not being able to do it. Yeah, no, I know, that. but he's complaining and looking into no, the No, I'm complaining just because the more basic one has a way to tackle that, and the more complicated cares, one doesn't. Man. We have decimals, doubles, and even scientific notation. And what the heck, the other one doesn't have any of that. But okay. <laughs> anyway, let's let's make the let's make the parser, I guess. So any integer. What do you mean by any boolean or any integer? Exactly that. I don't know about the any, but could be just like parse boolean. Uh, 
I also want to make an alias for this crab. That's a parser that parses any boolean. So it's a parser that parses booleans. Uh, yes, it is. So any has no point if you will put that on any on What's every parser. Mesmo? Can you partially apply types? That that's something that I was expecting to be able to oh. do, but it's not happening for any reason. That would be really crazy. I think you can, man. I think I tested that, but I'm not sure. Because it's like F sharp where you can yeah, apply as a function. I think, I think you can. But... Oh, now it's complaining here. Nice. Type C non parsec have two arguments, but has been given one. Oh, maybe not an I alias. Do ST okay. and then on the type do ST as well. Oh, okay. You were talking about the type, not the constructor, right? Yeah. Okay, still complaining, don't know why. Uh, put the ST instead and remove the A. Put, put what? Remove the A and put the ST on the, on the parameter as well. Just leave remove A. The A, the A the, the remove the A doesn't make sense. Yes, remove, remove this and change ST. Removing the A doesn't make any sense at all. Well, oh, that's how it was on the type annotation, on the documentation. Expecting one more argument. Look at the alias in the documentation. Ta-da! Doc ST. They're not doing anything else. No, no, yeah. But this is also partially applied as far as I understood. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. It is uh, two things here, and it is two things here. Uh. Okay, so let's put parser literals for now, I guess. He is still complaining about the ST stuff. What is that thing about this type alias? Wait, it's not a type alias, right? It will be. Okay. Okay, this works. But why the ST then? Yeah, I also don't understand why... Isn't it the same? I was thinking this was the same garbage as the tilde name or just the name. Like in F-sharp or Como. I don't think so. Like the... Type variable, you mean? Yeah, like the name. You know, you know when you do tilde and then I like think it doesn't have thing? it in Oscar. That's how I understood it was the same thing. No. Okay, maybe ambiguous now. Okay, ambiguous stuff. Uh, we can need to change this name. Type trash. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> Trash Love the name Trash. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it works. Okay, it's not Trash. <laughs> no, right. that's not something. We have it then. Uh, but we still have points. that crap, man. The ST. Can't we remove the garbage? Okay, it's still ambiguous with something else. Parsec Penitus Parsec.parser. Oh, it's because it's from here. Oh, I see. Uh, I'm glad that he warns you about it. Uh, parser T. Parser T. Yes, my type. The type synonym parsec should have two arguments, but have been only one. Yeah, but then where is this ST coming from? It needs to come from here. Yeah, try and remove an ST from the any boolean. Can what is it? the parsec type, man? No, you can't. It's another alias, by the way. Um, but <laughs> what are supposed to be those arguments? That's a hard question. We're guessing. <laughs> they don't have like in the documentation. No. They have the do they have the signature, but it's like here. This oh. is like we oh, don't. Oh shit! Oh, like token and. 
train. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. what we found it was. That's what, but... Yeah, but Parsec is another alias for Parsec T. <laughs> Ah, shit, and T? What the fuck, man? It's they already have the problem. <laughs> no, T is for the Transformer. Oh, okay. Uh... What the fuck is that Steam, man? Stage, probably. I have no idea. Stage, oh. string. String, yeah. Oh, a string would be weird, but stage, yeah, I it's, guess it's... String, I don't think it is, because we have another thing that is a string. But also, I think state is not right, because, oh. well, you would store the state on the string. No, but that's the thing, it could be anything, right? State not necessarily a string. Uh, but hey, Lemus, isn't that uh, a common pattern, like in Haskell, calling a T state? Yeah, but uh, in, par in parser context, maybe ST can also work for string, I don't know. I, I don't think so. Yeah, that should be STR, I guess. Well, ask you also, right? So I I, <laughs> I'm not completely sure. People are <laughs> are weird with name. Uh, between uh, oh no, it's an integer, so you don't need that. Yeah, so just many, uh, many digits. That's all. Many one, I think. Yeah, but then in this case you can it's just... It's a list. I think it's gonna return a list, so you need to convert that. Digit. Where is many one and many digit located? I have no idea. Mm. Don't you have the take while? Maybe it's... Well, you have the skip, maybe you have the take. No, it is Wait, the, many one, the many one. Many one there. No, the many so one is the one that we no. want. The difference is that you don't need to concatenate the, the string, you know? Yeah. You don't need to concatenate. Yeah, like take while we will keep taking and it will get the chunk. Uh, many will return a list instead. Oh, that's a thing that... Oh, man. I, I guess that in Haskell with type classes, it's much easier to do a bunch of stuff in parsers. Parsers. Regarding the... Like, how can I say? The input not being a string, maybe. You only need to implement some stuff, right? Try and take while. See if it exists. No, no, it's not complaining about that. This is correct, indeed. It's complaining about that we need to do the conversion that you said. We have a list of shards. We need to convert yes. that to a number. Wow, composition. Let's go. Uh, yeah, but if you have the take while, it's better. That's one thing. Yeah, that's true. But isn't the take while going to transform this uh, to a... Uh, and then you just cast. It will do the following, I guess. It will run the predicate on the shards, get all of them that was true, and just concatenate. I have this digit. Digit. No, digit is just a. Yeah, it's a parser a already. We want a uh, function. Oh, okay. Not cool. Sonoplastia do ratinho. What? Sonoplastia do ratinho aqui. What is sonoplastia? <laughs> well, the, the soundtrack. Huh? Look yeah, for that. listening thing. to a very, open, very weird soundtrack. Open. No, no, I'm just saying, like, uh, you know the sounds like wah, 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 wah. Oh! Like, disappointment and stuff oh. like that. Oh! Holy, I never, I think I never heard sonoplastia, man. Search for, like, sonoplastia. Yeah, I'm taking a look at the mini now. <laughs> é a comunicação pelo som. Let me let me look for the video that I need to share to you. Yeah, that's great. You really can convey a lot of stuff with quen 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 quen. We don't have his digit. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to a limbo, right? Uh just yeah, we can just use the other one, I guess. Just just go back to the mini one. Mini one digit. Here. This is part of it, not a... Let me see. Uh. There are ones that are really weird. Thanks. Did people love it? <laughs> they are all classics. This is awesome, man. Mm 
<laughs> what the fuck is that? Sorry. Let me see. What the <laughs> fuck, man? What is that? I can't read it. Can you please? Sorry. What the fuck, man? Okay. Hasco, guy. Hasco, folks. Come on. There's an even better one, man. Bon? There's an no. even better one. <laughs> Oh, there is this the fixed point to find a room point. To <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's oh, shit. <laughs> the names. Holy crap! This Hugo thing is way much better than the other one. Yeah, for doing a, what I want to to find a function that does this, yes. But what the fuck, man? String train, like... <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bit uh, hard, don't you think? No. Really? Well, do you want to, like... How can I say? Do the conversion? Like, yeah. isn't that on the standard library already? I have no idea. I never had to do this. That would be really weird if it's not there. Oh, yeah. String to integer, Haskell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the read one. Oh, of course. Um, read? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking about show. Yeah, okay. The opposite. Okay, done. <laughs> Let's... Wait, 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 no, 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 Are you sure? Yeah, for integers, I think that's it. Yeah, any integers, that this is the one. No, 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 wait, that will give you a list, right? Mm -mm. Many doesn't give you a list. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it wouldn't accept on the... No, no, no. On the this will return a, 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 a list of shards, right? This... Oh, fuck, it's already a string. <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that now. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good thing about having a shit implementation for strings. Mm -hmm. Wait, but weren't we supposed to use text, as you said? We are, not in here, in this part. And we actually, we, uh -huh. we can, uh, how can I say that? We can do that, but then we would have to change. We are stuck regardless, because we are. this is already returning a char. And the many is already a list of shards, so we don't. We would have to make another implementation of the many to not use the list. Oh, yeah, I can see there because like they are already returning that, so we can just use it. But where do you want to use text anyway? We are already using. Where? Um, here. Hey, and why? Oh, okay, there, right? I see. Every it's everywhere aside, <laughs> everywhere actually. Aside from these parsers. So did you saw the difference? Is the comparison better, for instance? No, I don't know. Like, it's hard to capture in this manner because it's kind of like performance-wise, it's better. No, like, wise. okay, there you know it's a list, like a single linked list. So maybe take a look on the implementation of text and then we know the trade-offs, right? Let me see what is made of. Unit text is done. Also. Is it that, that package, like data.text? Yes. Rational. Oh, that's a good thing already. Like we have Unicode here, right? Yes, we do. Okay, now we need to use the between stuff. Magetta, please. Watch that. What's the in between stuff? It is in one of these. I don't know what is supposed to do. Oh, I have no idea, but I think it, it tries to find a separator between two, two things. Between. Open, close. Okay, so you put what is the open and the close. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's Great. basically like parse three and give you the middle one, right? Yeah, but we want the opposite, right? We want to discard the middle. Really? What do you want to parse? We want to parse a rational number. 
Oh, okay, you want to... Oh, I see, I see, I see. Wait, can't you just use the read with the thing you parse as a stream? Yeah, that's kind of what I am understanding also. Like, if it will always, like, succeed, then there is no point in R. Okay, so it's going to be many one digit. Um, I guess applicative. Then char dot applicative again. Uh, many one digit. And I'm going to actually call this number. Wait, dot? Yeah, numbers. Mini. Uh, aren't you expecting a slash, like rational? Like. Well, we're gonna we're gonna use the. Oh, rationals are fractions, right? Sorry. Numbers. numbers. And then all of that, we want to do read on it. Uh. And you want this guy to be a rational. Illegal type signature. Type signatures are only allowed in patterns with scope type variables. Okay, thank you. Uh, scope type variables. Uh, Couldn't match this with expected rational. You got a parsec, I don't know, I don't know, integer. Why? That. Oh, it's because this is not a rational. This is a parser. Which is indeed correct. Okay. No instance for char to char to whatever. Hmm. You're returning more than. Uh oh, what? Let's see. Test. What is the type of this? Oh, wait. I do, I do need numbers also. Okay. Oh, okay. They are like different arguments. They are not coming as a, as a listener. Right? Like, read is supposed to be a function that takes three things, right? supposed to be a function that takes three things. Oh, I see what you mean. In this case, it would be, I don't know, left side. I would be so fucking surprised if you had like one function to do that in Oscar Utilities hit, man. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of pretty unlikely, I would say. So uh, let's make... Uh, they have so much stuff with depots, man. Come on. You just need to concatenate those, right? Okay, I have an idea. If this works, this is gonna be awesome. I really want to see a clever thing, man. Numbers are now complicated. Why? Couldn't match type char. Old map. Old map read. Uh, couldn't match. String will return to us. Uh, also this and that and this and that. It's Okay, the, this is not clever enough, unfortunately. Yeah, what do you want with told Matt? Like, he, he will not take, like, three things, right? Yeah, we need to make it, like, we need to wrap everything in the list first. How uh, can I do that? What do you mean? Like, there are three lists, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. I want to pick these three lists and transform into a, a list of lists. Actually, once you concatenate them. Yeah, this is what the fold is will, will be doing. Uh, okay, but you have the three. Okay, I see. But only if you have, I think. Yeah. 
So what yeah, we that... do? <laughs> no, but let's let's try one last try using Hugo. <sighs> we want to pick a topo. No fucking way. With... It's not a topo, right? Yeah, it's not a topo. We want to like a. Uh, to be no, no, to what string. we want isn't like a string, just string, string to <laughs> string. <laughs> well, in this case, A, B, C are strings, so let's use that. So it's a string to string. String, a string, string. String. No way. To another string, right? To another string. <laughs> Replace, wrap. Mm. Oh. Rename, add, subdivide. Yeah, man, that is not. <laughs> yeah. No, but let's try some. Uh, I want to use the topo Wait. approach. But you don't have a topo like anywhere. Yeah, but we can make a topo with this. Oh, yeah, you're right. List. If I have an A, a B, and now. a C, can we make this? No. this Rain. wait 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 why are we talking about arity that's bullshit can't we just use concatenate with two and then we concatenate the first two no yeah but that's and not clever result, not... well that's <laughs> <laughs> of course not... we can do the monkey wave man of course no that's no <laughs> that's not monkey i mean you do this decomposition right you not like write the lambda by itself but i see it's not the cleverest possible if we have another fun. Yeah, so... Well, but if you are messing with two as a turbo, it's not clever. Or... So, unless you have three to do in one step... Yeah, but having three in one step is pretty hard. Yeah, that would be like... But I think what you're doing is worse, because with tuples you end up with like maybe nested things. Uh, I don't think it will give you any benefit. No man, because if I have the tuple, maybe I have a fun exists a function that picks a tuple of the same type and just do a fold map with it. Oh, I see. Yeah, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yeah, because, and that. Would still be worse unless you have the triplet. Yeah, yeah, but how can I make the? Yeah, not worse, but as good as the other. That was within topos, retrieving values, pending questions. That's quite an exercise. <laughs> yeah, how to make this in a clever way? I think the clever so far it's the concatenate. Can I fold this? Argument. Just a sec. Oh. Is this foldable? No. But it is semi group. No, but wait. Uh, like. Ooh, it is semi group, and the and the append, my append is concat in this case. Yeah, but take a look, man. If you are doing operation two things. It will be the exactly same as what I said, but well, you need to do tuples first. So yeah, it's tuples and then composition with the the map end, right? Yeah, the other is just concat, concat. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, in, the, in this particular case, they are kind of seem to be pretty similar. Yeah, that sucks. Tuple is not foldable, also. Which is meh. It is traversable, but it's not fold. Oh, it is foldable. Oh, but it is only one. Is that enough? Right? Oh, we need we need to be bifoldable. Crap. What the fuck is bifoldable, man? Is uh. I don't know if that exists, by the way. I'm just assuming it exists because bifunctor bifunctors exist. So. And a bifunctor is a, f a functor that applies to both 
left and right parts of a tuple. Uh, wait, but that's more general than that, right? Like it's not on a tuple. I yeah, see. no, it's just I'm just ta talking about implementation on a tuple specifically, but it's something uh. that you can do with the either also. If you want to have a function that applies to the left and the right, you want to have actually the bifunctor takes two functions as a parameter. So you're going to have one function applying to the left and another function applying to the right. That, that's quite, quite a nice case. And I guess there were some times where I would need one yeah. deal with the results, like to do map on both. Exactly. Because it's so frustrating to, oh, you want to do F map on a neither? Good luck. The left is going to be done. Like only the right mm -hmm. one is going to be applied. Exactly. Yeah, but you don't have a choice in this case. So let's just do it. Um, left, middle, right. Wait, you can still do the composition, can't you? Like, it's just some concat, I would assume. We read a dollar L. M R. Yeah, that's the naive. Yeah. There is a function called on. Uh, runs the binary function B on the results of applying unary function U on two arguments. Yeah, just read this, you're gonna understand immediately, I guess. Let me see on F, let's slide. Uh, oh, yeah, what I read. But um, I, I think on only works for like two things, and we have three things in this particular case. Sucks. Also, that's a weird. Function. Yeah, no, but this is very useful. I already used. Uh... I know, but like. Anyway, for now this is okay. Uh, okay, so we have the rational. What is now? Oh, literal. Okay, so. It's just for you not to do that. What is the name? Is it lift? Right. No, this the is one not. That... No, this is not lifting. No, 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 no. What I mean is, isn't the lift plus map? Like the thing that you get two and do map on both, isn't that lift or something? Oh no no wait no that's one that you operate on both and they are both like. Okay, yeah, what you do want to do is apply something to both and then pick the results yeah. of these two things and apply and fold and like and combine them with another functions, and you have yeah. control of the two. Separately. My question is, don't we have one that takes like two arguments, a function, and like map both? Oh, but, oh no, that's only with tuples, right? Because how would we like return two if not on a tuple? Actually, instead of doing like this, I can just, uh, I guess, copy this. It should work just fine. And are you sure that will work? Why not? Because you have this parse any literal, but that type will not match with the others. Don't you need to return AST there, the AST type, instead of literal? Oh, that's correct. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 I don't, I don't. Because th these are already literals, right? These are already using their constructors. L rational, L unit, L... What I mean is, what is the type literal? It is a sum type. Can you show me? Yeah. Type. Uh, 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 okay, so you reverse your literal. But then. Oh, okay, yeah, but. Yeah, but you know your parser, like any literal, you need to do a map to wrap into the expression one. Oh, but that's parsing expression. I'm not parsing that at the moment. Yeah, but what I mean is, C or any literal, it needs to return an EST, right? Or at least you will Not need now. to do... Not now. Do when not... I will parse expressions, then I will do that. For the sake of literals, this is it. Well, yeah, it depends, but it's the same result. Like, so, 
Okay, so now we can s replace this with the literal. We can do that. Test. Okay, this repo, my repo is kind of weird. Test. Still true. Oh, of course. Three. Okay, this is wrong. What is the dot there? The dot? Oh, sorry. We don't have. And why is that parsing correctly? <laughs> no, it's not parsing correctly, right? Like we have some input. Like this will be the remaining input, right? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's what you wrong. want is yeah, what you want is end of line, I guess. There, right? Should test if the thing would work. No, okay, not that uh, you would. Do we have parse only in this library? No. Not parse cool. only. What do you mean? Yeah, because the parse only already assumes that you don't. You already want to finish. You don't have to part like to add end of the line or stuff like that. Where did you saw this parse only? On the auto parsec one. Oh, that's a weird name, parse only. Why are you complaining? <laughs> Variable not in scope. What? I'm confused. Okay, so we have from text.parsec, which is not here, okay. Import text parsec. End of the line, okay. Unexpected slash, expecting digit or new line. That's not good. Okay, so Wait, what the fuck, what is that message? Is that by default, like on those parser error at line one, column six? <laughs> it's already telling me. Holy crap! But I'm not surprised with that. I'm surprised with the other one. Expecting oh, it's not end, end of line. line. It's end of input. What we want. Oh, it's end of. No, no, no. No, end of the line is the end of the... Yeah? No, no, wait. No, no it's not. It's not. <laughs> it's literally it's parsing not. A end of a line. Okay, so we need the uh, end of the file or stuff. Yeah, EOF, right? EOF, yeah. Do we have that by any chance? E -O -F. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> No parse. What okay, does that so mean? So this is broken, I guess. No parse. No, it is saying there parsec t char u identity rational. It's a rational number. Why are you complaining? Um, do we have read? Yes. Okay, so if I say that r is a rational, which is equal to read of this illegal type signature. Oh, this needs to be here, not the other way around. Weird Oscar. Okay, what is R? R no parse. Prelude, no parse. I am confused. Is it a dot? Is it comma? No. Is it slash? Also no. How do you do know what the no parse means? Sorry? Do you know what the no parse means? Uh, no. I never saw that <laughs> what before. I'm about to look in my What is a rational number?
This is because the string representation you have, it's not the string representation of a string. It, wait. Wait. Wait, are you dealing with text for some reason? What the? Hey, are you dealing with text instead of strings for some reason? Uh, are we dealing with what? Text instead no, of string? No. no, but I already found it here, man. Yeah. Rationals, you need to use the module, the mod operator. Why? What the fuck is that? No. Yeah, I'm, I think that the four the four. Oh, this is a simplification of this. Okay, so this 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 is go, this is equal to that. Okay, so instead of doing that, let's put it in 05. Yeah, this is how you do it. <laughs> oh shit. Rationals are pretty weird in Yeah. Okay, but then we can do the following. We can do this, then this, uh, and then this. Wait, 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 wait. Don't you want to do some mapping there? Like, true. Actually, Parcel slash and return you. Right? Sorry? Don't you want to do a, a map there for you to parse the slash and return the module thing? Oh, I don't need to do the map. I oh, okay. Just... Yeah, you just to get an area. Yeah. Okay, so now if I do test, I'll come back. now I have the thing. Oh man, it's still literal. I thought it was all done already. It is done. <laughs> all, all done. Applications, everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, like 15 minutes we can do that all. That I find I find that pretty unli unlikely to happen. But okay. Um, let's move this guy from here. What did it do on rationals? Uh, oh, you're doing a slash. Is that it? Oh, man. Yeah. I'm gonna create a types file in the in here also. Here, okay. Now we can use this to do expressions and stuff like that. And we also want to import parser dot types. Okay, done. <laughs> and now. We should have everything that we we need. Now expressions. Expression. Expression dot hs already exists. So. Where? Where? Nagata, are you there? Yes. Where is the file? I don't know. Oh, cool. Test? No, I can create Let's the file. Let's not even No, but oh, I can create the file please. because it already exists in one buffer. Mm. But I can go there. Yep. Oh, you pressed the wrong key money, I guess. No, no, no. I, I pressed a control X, control B. And I can't go there. There, it isn't in my list of, of buffers. What the hell? This is very weird. Okay, so... Let's resume. Okay, let's, let's do it then. Expression. Emacs is going crazy now. I deleted the file and it still is in here. Ah, Emacs. Why you do that? It's man? three megs apparently.
Thanks. Uh... You're gonna do the mappers, is that it? No, I'm gonna do the expressions now. Because oh, now so we have a way to parse the literals. Hmm. But no, either way. Do... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we know how to we know how to parse this. Now we need to parse this and this, right? But, but um, we also have to go back to the grammar and remember how to parse the abstraction, the application. That's why I have this open. This where? Oh, here. Because then we can remember how to do this stuff. Because we're gonna, we're gonna have to basically redo all of these guys. And that's it. Okay, what is? Let's start with the easiest one, which is the literal and the variable. Um, XPR literal parser t st. Uh, literal expression XPR literal it's gonna be e literal f mapping any literal which means that this guy also needs to grab uh, literals okay first one done XPR literal uh, variable Are you guys there? Yes. I'm back now. Uh, <sighs> just beast, man. Okay, so now. Now. Oh, by the way, how was the, the trip again? Horrible, man. I had to take my. <laughs> Dude, I was in a bus for like. Oh. I, I literally I was looking. I was re, I was listening to an audio book. Like the dude was talking, talking, talking. I finished like two chapters, and then I realized I looked in the clock and it was like a half an hour, and I said, "Dude, yeah, not even I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here of boredom." Or you not sleeping? Uh, dude, I barely slept. I walked too much. My feet are hurting right now. Uh, I had to take. Uh, I had to go. I think you never went to the to a station here. Uh, like for you to commute between one station of one line to another line, it's like five. Uh, uh, five floors in between the stations. So you basically like to. I was like with my luggage, going for like five floors, dude. That's horrible. Oh, the fuck, man. Yes, it was plain suffering. Uh, and it was raining, man, it was horrible, horrible. But anyway, at, at least the trip itself, like going there, was fun. The The only problem was like traveling. <laughs> that's the, the bad part. Yeah, uh, but anyway. Really yeah. But anyway, I, I'm glad I, I went there. Wait, where are you going? Uh, I went to Campinas. Ah. Wait, let me see where it's Campinas, man. Uh, it's like two hours away from Sao Paulo. And it's like 30 degrees there. Do we have yeah. more than one place named Campinas? Like, famous one? I, I don't know. I think it's just Campinas that is the famous. Okay. So. And you were in Sao Paulo, yes. right? Yeah, no, no. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am actually in another city nearby, in the metropolitan area, so... Oh, you man, it's... So, let me see what you're doing, Lemos. You're doing Lambda or Eval... Okay, so you're just excluding the things from the variable, right? Yeah, but I, I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Because... The well, way I did on my thing we was... We can do like, like this, anything. like, whatever. Yeah, that... And then... Invalid variable. Wait, you wait, just check. 
for, for, here's what I did on my thing. I would check, I would get any match any like a uh, valid identifier. And then I would say, I would check if that identifier is in a list I have of keywords, and then I just delete, and then I, if it is, then it's false, like it's wrong. I think. Yeah, I guess I would do the same. I guess keywords in, like, are usually do, like made this way, like you parse everything you can mm -hmm. as a valid identifier, then you check if it happens to be a keyword, right? Mm -hmm. You only parse what is always what it can, right? Well, we can do it in both in both ways. What you guys prefer? Because when I did in LFA, I did like this. I would go for parse whatever you can, and then you check. Like. Okay. okay, so you would do check if if you. Can. But here's the problem: that would consume, right? That would. Because you gotta watch out that as well. Like if it if you will consume the thing and then like on the next uh, parcel, don't we have something? It, it will something just like stay right? Like we so, have some function yeah. called try. Yeah. Wait, but the R will not consume it if you fail, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think. I hope it it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Doesn't make sense. Then it's not an R. Okay. Yes, that makes sense. But you can like. And that's just a detail, of course, performance-wise, but you will be doing some backtracking, right? Oh, here. Yeah. Try. <laughs> it's pretends. What the fuck? Yeah, but I think it's easier just to check if it at least contains it. Yeah, but that's very inefficient, I think. <laughs> that's the thing. Very Why? Nice. Dude, there's just like 10. Words. Not for now, but every yeah, single time works. you increase yeah. something to the, in your list of keywords, you're going to have like a... Yeah, like 50. You just did a hash map. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nathan is learning the, the, co the cracking the cold interview. <laughs> like that's always the answer, right? Yeah, that's always the answer, a hash map. <laughs> It is a pretty neat thing. Okay, what's your... I, I remember uh, a dude like making a funny video of this. He was doing something like... Is it like, Joma? Was it Joma? I think he was, like, preparing <laughs> for the cold interview, something like this. And then like, he spends, like, days preparing for the interview and such like this. And then when the dude came, z came in to ask him, Oh, okay, what's your name? Tell me about you. Hash map. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> so cringy. <laughs> yeah. Label. A synonym for, but as a function instead of an operator. Okay. What are you looking for? We need to make now the identifier parser. In our identifier is not this. Uh, well, what do you, you want? Just make an identifier. Can you first? describe for me? Yeah, an identifier. Oh, I think we're not doing a Lisp identifier is... though. By the way. I think an Wait. identifier is everything between white spaces. Let me just double check this. Oh, okay. I, I see, I see. I forgot that. I see. Oh, no. It's actually a little bit more complicated. I actually d didn't allow identifier to initiate with the ampersand. Yeah, because weird reasons. And Yeah, but we don't care about the ampersand anymore because we removed variadic stuff. And I'm also removing an identifier to begin with brackets. Yeah. And that's pretty much it, as far as I can tell. And the rest is all allowed, right? Like a star? No, yeah, it is allowed. A smile face. A smile, a smile face. face. <laughs> yeah. uh, so it, it cannot be uh, delimiters, and it cannot be white spaces. Yeah. And it cannot be empty also. So it's a, a many one. We can use many one to get rid of this condition. With the ampersand, we don't care. Uh, and we need to get a way of making not making it not start with uh, uh, brackets and, and other delimiters, and for that matter. I yeah. wouldn't even allow that, like, in any position. 
Yeah, so let's put the limiters here. Because I think, like, the only special characters that I think are, well, good for a Lisp is, like, the Slash, the Earmuffs, Plus, and Hashtag. I think that's all. Like, that would not be a problem if we had the tokenizer first, right? No. Yeah. Okay, brackets. But nobody wants to do a tokenizer. That's the problem. Another bracket. Another bracket. And another bracket. It also would be a trouble to do an efficient one. Also. Okay, so we need to. Oh man, this is so inelegant doing the try to find in a list. Ah, okay. Who cares for elegance, man? <laughs> I don't know what oh, we're using. Use a hash map then. Is, you saw my code last week? I was doing four loops. Like, who cares? Do we have just Eden? Eden to. Oh, we do! Cool! At this point, we better <laughs> start using unsafe perform IO. No, fun. we're not gonna use that. Uh... Wait, do you have like literal syntax for maps in Haskell? I don't think you have, right? I don't think you do. Where is this coming from? Something about token. Oh, here. Okay, identifier. I hate that this part of unhackage. Yeah, this is, has nothing to do with what we want. Okay, cool. So, let's remove this import. And let's make our own. Where is just many one letters. And then um, we need to check. And special symbols, right? Uh, special symbols, okay, let's also. Have like earmuffs and garbage. Special symbols. Yeah, but if you're going to list it, then there will be no way to have my own face as an identifier. Yeah, Unicode garbage. <laughs> smile face. I guess we could do like this. <laughs> Imagine I having a function that is smile face as the name. Oh, we did have it, right, Magneto? Yeah, we did. We had a dice as well. <laughs> Wait, did we? Yes. Like, it was a function that sometimes it would fail, so no, I just but... made the dice because it was a gamble. Which special characters are you going to not allow, man? Oh, well, that, not that's allow. what I was saying. Like, for example, F sharp. I don't know about Okamo, but probably it's the same. Like, it allows you to do anything if it's in between uh, back quote, back quote. I don't think Okama has that shit. I really don't think so. For now, for now, let's not make special symbols because I want to have Unicode support. So let's do like that. Um, Wait, what is a ladder? Well, then you're not adding Unicode support, right? Yeah. A ladder is... Uh, it's just A to Z. A ladder is just a... Uh, let me go back. Wait, that's from the library? Yeah. Oh, then you can bet it's just a... Probably A to Z indeed. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing though. I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure. Can't you just dot into it? Like, don't you have the source? Oh, here. Letter. That's, who, that's, who, that's why I saw it. <laughs> but, but hey, can't you like go to the finition into your editor? From um, the library? Uh, well, I think maybe. I never did that in Haskell, but let's try. Okay, what if I do it like that? Yeah, we don't have an uh, identifier. Letter, sorry. Which you means that you're going to have to make it... <laughs> not freaking cool. That's not cool. Um... Let me think a little bit. Like, if you want only the ask stuff, I bet you would have like max syntax for a range of characters in Haskell. Like that, we can handle Unicode and stuff like that. What? <laughs> oh, it didn't get the. Uh... I don't have the latter one, unfortunately. Wait, it didn't get the yeah. emoji. 
Where is it? Here. Oh, there it is, Nathan. Character parsing. Debugging. Yeah, so this guy is not re-exporting. You want the ask stuff, right? Okay, one off. One off. Non space. Yeah, we can use one off. And offline tab upper lower alpha meaning? letter. Okay, so letter does exist, so, but it's not re-exported by the other thing, which sucks. That's bad, bad programming. Uh, parse parsec char. Now we do. We should have the letter now. Is redundant ex except perhaps to import but pieces it's from. Quite a, it's quite funny that in F sharp you just import f parsec dot primitives and you have everything. <laughs> Are you sure you have to do the dot primitive? I don't think you even need that actually. Yeah. You would probably have something like auto open, right? Yeah, probably. Anyway, identifier is a, a bunch of letters. Many one. Then having the letter, we need to be able to do what? We need to be able to do a find, right? To, to search throughout the, okay. the many and see if any of them contain uh, one of our uh, mm -hmm. keywords or delimiters. Yeah. And if they do, we return, we should, we should uh, throw an error or something like that. Man, man, why so don't you have a map it? and then you can use the get? The get who like return a maybe, I guess, right? Then we know it. A map mapping what to what exactly? No, no, a map like the data structure. Yeah, the hash hash map. To be yeah, blazing yeah, fast. yeah. That's my question. A mapping mapping what to what? Which key to oh, which value? The key oh. or to what it is like? What do you want to return, right? What do you want to return? Yeah, like the well would be a token but like he I, he means i think like something like this like if you try to access something by a key in a map and it exists because the map will by accessing the map by the key will return a maybe so you know by the maybe that it's true or false if it is in there see no so oh, no, i'm sorry yeah. okay let me let me reply let me try again so you have a map, ignore the where it comes from, ignore where it goes to, okay? Just think of the keys. You insert the labels of the keywords as the keys. So, like, we're gonna have let, uh, what else? Uh, the phone, like that kind of stuff, you're gonna have as the key for the map. And then, if you try to access, and it doesn't matter what, but then if you try to access the get uh, a map, a value from the map, Using the key, the identifier you just parsed, if it exists in the map, that means it's a, it's a keyword, it's going to return a maybe uh, some, right? Oh, I if see. If it doesn't, it returns a none, so you know. I get it, but that works for the token like approach, right? But what we are doing, is that, is that any good? Like, I don't I like don't it. Know. I don't like that right? approach. Well, not even regarding same. like it, but does yeah, it, does it make, make sense? sense? No, no, not oh, that. It does. it does, like, what do we need to return, like? Oh, nothing. You just, re well, you, you, what do you mean you return? I because didn't... if you were, like, doing a token, that would be exactly the case. Return the token. Wait, your voice dropped for me, Nathan. Say it again. If we were doing a tokenizer, mm -hmm. we would return the token, right? Like either the keyword or a variable. But we are not. So, right? Oh, you are returning uh, the label. Wait, let me see. We are parsing variables, right? Yeah, the identifier is... Oh, no. I think, I guess, yeah, I guess that doesn't work for us. Like, okay. Oh, shit, yeah, yeah. I think the way it probably needs to be done is like, oh, I parse maybe keywords before trying to parse like variables, right? Wait, sure. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, this is a list of those. Okay. Uh. I guess we just want to fail my get, right? Yeah, that's oh yeah, I get your question. Yeah, do you just want to fail or not? Uh, we would still have the use to map, right? Because we need to see. Yeah, the map there is just a dummy thing to check if it exists or not. That's all. Yeah. It's just an efficient way to check. Yeah, I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like this approach of searching stuff in a list. I prefer the parsing. The parser what will tell me because it will do well, that. That's why regardless. we're talking about the map. We're not talking about a list. But wait, what is the approach that you were thinking about, Lemus? I'm thinking about making a parser that will tr that will try to parse invalid variables, and if it parses, we have a problem. Done. That's uh. what we were talking about. No, but you were talking about that using a map. How you are going to know what are the keywords? Done, like this. Right. We have a Which list is the same there. Way. <laughs> Which is what? Which is the same thing. No, it's, this is not a map. This, this is not a strategy no, no, map. It's a, a list. You're containing all the keywords. Yeah, but I'm parsing them. Yeah, so you parse the thing, and if it matches any of that, now then I need to That's discover how to. Oh, do what is the difference? You are still going to. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, are you talking? You, ta you guys talking about maps with the key and a value, right? Dude, there are two approaches. The first one is using is doing what you're doing, which is using a list which is inefficient because you may have to search the thing in a list. The other one is just parsing anything and checking a map. You're it's complaining totally about more efficient, see, right? gave one. I don't think it matters because, dude, it's just like 50, at max, 50 keywords. I don't think it would matter. Oh, but if you anyway, guys, if you you guys have, I, 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 think it's, I think it's very ugly, the, the, the dictionary approach. No. But I I don't I don't care. But, but we I were complaining just... about efficiency. We gave an efficient solution. Yeah, but I think we are really on the wrong track because it doesn't matter what are those we choose, we have other problems. And then this Wait. and then this. Okay. Uh... can you do the following levels? Can you do like the placeholders for all the things you want to use inside the Oh, wait. What is the expression you have there some? Yeah, expression is this. No, no, no. The expression parser. Oh, it's going to be an uh, alternative with all of those. <laughs> Not all of... How can I say it? So, can you create the expression parser and then use the things as you wish, but they are just placeholder with undefined? So... Yeah, just that I can like visualize better. Yeah. So, let, but let me just uh, continue just a little bit more because I'm. I think I'm almost done uh, making the expression variable oh, no, because now I already par. I can already parse all the invariable invar invalid no, variables. No, you just check if it parses any of the garbage, and then if it does, then it's invalid. You just fail. Yeah. Uh, how to do that? Well, do notation is the easiest way. Yeah, but what is the least. return? Um, let's say, what is the return of uh, after the do notations? You see what I mean? Well, the return is the literal. Well, sorry, it's the variable is the label, Ooh. right? So it's gonna oh, be in, no, never, yeah. This is an expression variable, so then it should be a variable, right? I think you could do like a normal and a valid identifier. That's better because uh, we can use not only on variables, right? This identifier. Yeah, that's that's also true. Wait, can you explain me the operation we are doing there with the yes. invalid stuff? Yes. You have concat there, right? I have a list of words that I want to say that is invalid. Uh -huh. Then I am saying, okay, for each one of those words, create a parser for me with that. Uh, okay. And then for each of those parsers, try to apply all of them and see if n uh, uh, any of them match. Okay. That that is what the choice one is doing. Yeah, but you have delimiters there, right? Yeah. Shouldn't the delimiters just be on 
oh, that's not a letter. So it would be inside the letter parser just saying, oh, that's not an invalid letter, right? Or something like that, maybe? No, my plan is I'm going to try to parse this, right? I'm going to try to parse. I'm going to start the expression parsing, trying to parse this. If I get something, that means that something is wrong. That's kind of what I want at the moment. Yeah, but what if... And let's do what you... Uh, expression... I don't know, it's going to be a parser, t, s, t, expression, and then undefined, because you asked me to do this, right? So we also have that. We Wait, have you will tracks. first try to do the invalid variables, right? If For, that yes. fails, then... Then we're just going to... That's what I need is to this, discover. I don't know how... Fails? Oh, what man, that's mean? really bad, Lemos. Yeah, I said that. Why yeah, this is that's bad. Really bad? That's what I don't understand. That's why it's really don't understand. You're creating one parser. Think that you have like 100 keywords. You're creating one parser per each. You're trying to match all of those. And if you do, then you try to see if it's a valid identifier. Like you will still need to reparse them. Yeah, you parse, need to parse again. So the way Magetta was suggesting is you parse once and then you check it if it's wrong already. Because you already have the result, right? You don't need to reparse anything. But isn't... Isn't I don't think that's how Haskell would do this because of the laziness. It will what not you it will what? not make the entire no, list and try to consume. parse it with all of them. No 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about cons okay, like consumption. Think about this. You're gonna parse that and then okay, you consumed the variable. What do you do now? You need to backtrack. No, wait. I need to backtrack? Why? That's oh, a choice. It's failed, think, right? Yeah, it, it failed, but I think it's a choice. I think it doesn't matter. No, no. The choice is the one that causes the backtrack. In this yeah, sense, yeah. That... That's what I'm saying. You don't need to manually do that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but uh, wait. Yeah. Well, go on. Okay. I, the choice is backtracking for me. What else? No, but the problem is you're gonna have to try to match, because okay, being lazy doesn't matter in that case. Because imagine like this. You have three keywords, lambda, if, and then, whatever. And then, okay, like if a, let's suppose the word here is then for, okay? So it's not then. Oh, then yeah, that's else. a good one. You're going to check it. lambda, fail, if, fail, and then, then, fail. And then you check again, okay, let's see if it's valid now. Like, instead of just doing, okay, let's match to see if it's valid. Oh, then for, it's valid. But is it a keyword? Yes, it is not a keyword, so then that's fine. You are passing the then for like twice, right? I'm not getting it. I'm sorry. Dude, you're parsing for the then. You're parsing for each one of them, and then you parse for uh. Because what I'm doing is not parsing twice. I'm just parsing once, and then I check in a map if the word oh, is there. Oh, now okay. It's because in your way. If it's not in the in the, I'm I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna call it map because map is gonna confuse with this map. So I'm gonna say it's a dictionary. I said a map because a hash. Think of a hash map. Okay, so I I, we're gonna check because... the hash map, and if it's in if it's not invalid, right? If it's not invalid, then you can now have to parse again, I guess. I said a hash map because it's all one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that doesn't matter. Dictionary is, in, is also one all one. Yeah, the, that's the same logic. Yeah, I know, but I think now I got what it means. So instead of passing twice, because I would have to pass one time to check if it's invalid, and if it's mm -hmm. not invalid, that would mean that I'm going to have to parse again, but with the yeah. other stuff. For that's each what it one. Mean. That's the problem. For each one. Yeah, for each keyword, you're going to have to parse. And also, like, if you had the word, like a valid word... Okay, I see what you mean now. Yeah, so uh, in order to make this efficient, it's going to have to be ugly then. It's, no, no, no. First of all, it's not ugly. This okay. is ugly. <laughs> no, no, no. Using the, the parsing stuff for it, yeah, I, con I consider it to be way better in terms of being elegant. In comparison I guess you are looking at the characters there, but think about what you are doing, man. 
I wanted to quote somebody here so bad, but I, I cannot cite the name of the person. No, don't say the name. Just say the <laughs> phrase. Yeah, no, no. It's like uh, I need to mention who to, to make sense. No, no, we know who already. <laughs> <laughs> here he comes. <laughs> <Not that. laughs> Well, so you're, we so you were you were losing time thinking of elegance of your code instead of being practical. Oh my god! You already know who. Anyway, okay, so it's gonna be ugly as hell. As hell, okay. Let me think, think how we're gonna, gonna do that in, in high school. I think then. you need to change something about your letter, man. Uh, because the way you will like not permit the identifiers to be in a variable is the letter. It could be anything except for those, right? Yeah. You're doing except any of those to do the check if it is this. If you have anything that is not one of those, it's a valid letter. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You guys mean? Which it's can also be false, too. by the way. False? What do you mean? Oh well, if you match something and then I don't know, it doesn't match as a valid variable, like it's like four four four, then it's also false. Uh -huh. Like a valid identifier has letters, right? But then it will try to parse every keyword, mm -hmm. and then it will fail on every single keyword, and then you try to match again on the on the normal expression parser, which will fail again. So you basically like parsed everything for something that wasn't true to begin with. Wait, you're talking about the old approach? No, uh, yeah, the, the other one of the using choice. Oh, shit. Yeah, but there are also some things to consider, right? So, for example, the letters, the first one, maybe it can't be a number, right? Yeah, you have those things, yes. But the others, it could, right? No, 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 wait. A variable can't start being a number with, like, the first character. Oh. I, I, Can you repeat? Yes. Yeah, so we, we, in our case, we just... I, don't, I didn't understand your comment, because in our case, we don't care about, like, this case that you said. It can start with a number. No, we can't. No, no, that's what I'm saying. It can't. Yeah, yeah but a letter it supposedly would not allow that to happen. Yeah, but in our case, like, letter is more like, general, you, you know? Like, oh. smiley face. Yeah, because of smiley the face. Unicode stuff. It's the best example, man. Smiley face. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, I guess I know how to do what you guys said. I do. I think I, think I do, but well, I'm going to hate it, every part of it. But okay. Uh, yeah, seeing you cringe is my, my like it's easy, easy, right? What is the one that you get the predicate on the shard? On the predicate on the shard, what do you mean? Oh shit, I guess we have problems, my good. What the parser is not dealing with Unicode as one like seem, right? Aren't we ignoring Unicode? Uh -huh. I thought we were ignoring completely Unicode. Are we? Well, I don't know. We were. Yeah, we're not treating. Well, at this, this is the moment that you're gonna decide that actually. Oh yeah, yeah my we point. Can of... it later, man. Just, just, let's just do something basic so we can test. The well, UFO. then we're let's later, just really. do the the ask. Like it's easy, right? Like we can like finish really quick. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just yeah, but normal. like even though like even we doing ask like just discussing about a future thing, right, Magita? Uh, mm. So the parser he's dealing with streams, right? Not text, is it? Mm. Or is it dealing with text? I don't know. It's text doc parsec, right? So I don't know. All oh, right, I see what you mean. And strings, they are just a list of shards, and shards, those cases, they are like bytes, right? They are not Unicode code points. They are not like sims. They are like just bytes. Yeah. So. Uh, not in Haskell though. What? Are you sure? Yeah, so there is a type called word8, which is a byte, but a char is not this. What is a char then? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, 
I can make it like this. Thank you, thank you, H Lint. Um, uh, the way you're doing, you're doing it with a map, which will be, I agree, will be kind of uglier because you have like the value as nothing, right? The value? What do you mean? Yeah, like zero. Oh. But wait. I was thinking of like a hash map because you just have a hash function and then you just insert. No, the hash. wait. Yeah, but then you can use a set, right? Since you yeah, don't have set, the value. A set right is made better. A set is better. Yeah, a set is more elegant. Like we were thinking about maps because we were thinking about like returning a token, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. PR application. Okay, so this is allowed. Nice. So it knows that it is a from list of of the set because of the signature. It, no, because of because of this. Yes, in this case, sorry, it is okay, because of this type of signature. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. okay, okay. So what is a variable then? Uh, so a variable would be. I think you need an if, so do a do notation. We can try to undo it later. Uh, so just parse anything. Like, uh, yeah, just parse uh, any shit. Many one. Oh, you have a ready I'm fire? assuming that it exists, but probably not. So let's do many no, one doesn't. letter. Yeah. Uh, read. read. Don't forget to read. Yeah, you need to, to convert it to a string, right? It's gonna oh, be okay, okay, yeah. okay. That's that's correct. I guess this will return. This will return a list, right? Yeah. So what I need to do is on a read. I need what to actually this? concat, right? What we, was a read we, then? I remember you doing read. Read is to convert a string to another type. Okay. Do we have many one? No. Okay, so text parsec. Oops. We do. Okay, so what is the type of many one uh, letter? It's that. So it's a parsec T, S, U, M, whatever those are, and then a list of shards, which is a string. So this is already a string, which is what we want, because this is an identifier. So str is a string, as far as you can tell. Then we need to check mm -hmm. if it exists if just like str just for just want to yeah. check it. i guess you're right i guess it's a unicode uh code point that's very understood at least try find something like this that's what you insert, want insert delete outer query member Okay, so if, if member a maybe, I guess, right? str invalid variables. And what is the return? Boolean. Maybe. Bo then, okay, it's, wait, is that a Boolean member? Okay, if it is in the set, right? Yeah, if it is in the set, then we need to do something like, I don't know, error, what the F. I, I think there is a fail parser. Cool, that's great. But if it's not, right? If it's not, then we just pick e variable and str. Yeah. But this uh, but is going to be wrong right because isn't... str str is a string and we are using text. So I think I'm going to have to do I don't know pack or something like that. Uh, okay, so I also is need to str really a string. Okay, was... We're going to check that pretty quickly. Different. So what is the type of this? It is a string. Char, uh, okay, char list. Yeah, so what is your complaint? Can't match expected type. Oh, it's because this is not just any variable. Okay, and this should be fail, I guess. Not, what is, it's not complaining about error. Is that a parser? No. Exception, I guess. That is an exception. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, okay. what, let's go it's to the... Let's, let's go to the... Let's try to find a parser that just, like, 
there was an Search error. for fail. I remember F Parsec has one, I think it's fail. That it doesn't parse anything, it just fails. Ooh, this is cool. Put state. I, yeah, it I is wrapping. It is wrapping a state transformer. Then that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, the, from what I understand, this library has a has a state monad inside of it. Yeah. Oh wait, like did you guys uh, took a look on like how can I say the last chapters of the of the paper on parser combinator shit? No. The last chapters, no. What are they about? Yeah, they are like how can I say. Factorizing, mm -hmm. uh, like the type that it defines in pre existent monads. So he can have the benefits of using things that they have already. So maybe that's the case. Maybe there the parser type is just a composition of existing monads. Okay, so parser fail. I think it's a string message. But is this for the moment? We can try. Because we can see bind all of this stuff. Parser fail. Um, found invalid uh, name for variable. Unexpected keyword. This is a reserved word. Please use another one. Unexpected keyword. Uh, unexpected. Uh, actually, you're not expecting, right? Yes, yeah, I'm expected. Unexpected identifier. This is a keyword. Unexpected identifier for variable name. Yeah. Um, do we have XPR? Okay, so for some random reason that... Oh, it's because I'm not exporting it. Complaining? Why? Oh, it's because I named it wrong. Okay. Yeah, the type it uses is like a state monad, then maybe or list, and then a string and a... Still, still not working. I don't know why. I'm gonna rename this to be another thing. Why this guy is not working then? Parser expression. You are working, right? Oh. To be this thing, I, I can't believe I would say this, but I think I prefer the namespaces. Parser expression. I'm actually doing this properly the first time. That's why I, I never did it before. Oh, it's because of this. Sure. Parser error on line four, comma. Okay. Now, do we have this? Is it complete? No, it's not. not oh man. Do we have other stuff like expect? I don't know. No, not this. Um, any number. Oh, we don't have any number. Any integer. Do we have that? Quick, 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 quick. Um, how I'm not exporting these guys? That's what I want to understand. Because I'm exporting everything in here, including any integer. Uh, uh, how we were testing this before? Um, parse test, XPR variable, and an input, I guess. So let's put lambda.
We have not in scope. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong, definitely. And I don't know why. And I don't know how I make the literal work last time. Love module Hellman. No, I don't know. Maybe it is hell, but I don't know because I never did this before. This is the first time I'm doing things like as a library. You are being so kind, my to calling those modules, man. Yeah, if your standard is, is the old camo way of doing modules, then it's not even close. Uh, what am I doing wrong? The namespaces in .NET are so easy. Like, you just do namespace and then share everything already. Ah. Okay. Test. Okay. Cool. That's exactly what we want. Okay. So try sending uh, some random... X. Yeah, some random BS. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess it works. But now let's try to explore. Let's try to explore the... Oh, I'm going to explore that later because I want to understand how to get the position in the stuff. But I, 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 I can mess around with that later. Fail, I would be expecting it already to get the position. That's what happens in F per sec. Like when you send a... When you fail the parser, it already sends the position. Oh, we so need an emoji, man. Is, I don't think the emoji will work. Yeah, that's exactly right. passing matters, man. I, am, I can send one here. Mac OS says integrated emojis. Lemus. Yeah. Lemus, I, I think that's... One. Wait, does that Sorry. work? Oh, fuck this. Get the emoji there. Unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting yeah, letter. <laughs> what is your letter, man? I don't care. Oh, it's the library one, right? Haha! -ha! <laughs> yeah. Fine, just fine. Wait, wait, what is the unexpected? Wait, what did it do? No, it worked. Sure. It worked. Here okay, the yeah. sure. It is the same as the unexpected, I guess it is. But then, but like, one I, is a. Yeah, intro. that's a code. Yeah, it's because, like, I guess maybe they use, like, two code points for doing these. Uh, since this think. is a monad, I think you can do, like, parse sequentially. So the first one, like. Oh, man, do like this, Lemus. Oh, I need to. Yeah, do it like this, then. Uh, the first one. And the last one, before the STR, before line 5, and after line 5, add two new things. Hmm. And then you can do something like... Actually, just add one before. We can handle the other case later. Uh, Tell before me what the you STR. Do, before the STR, go there. So add another clause there that it makes it specifically require a letter or a special symbol, like a asterisk or whatever. Why? And then you just join the STR because then you can have like anything inside the thing, like a number. But we don't and want that. We don't want a variable what? to be have the label as a number. That's why bad. Well, why? Why that's bad? Yeah. Okay, Manata, do you do you agree with this? Having a variable named I don't know this. Dude, you're doing a. F Wait, we, we no, cannot do like that. A one, B two. So oh, a1, okay, a2, that's what something like this. Why would you disallow that? No, no, I, at least what I was understanding is that you wanted like a number as we want a normal number. But you mean the following letters, right? Yeah, the oh, like after this. letter. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, let, me, let me think about By the way, the asterisk one in Lisp is valid. Yeah, and, and I hate it. <laughs> Uh. All right. 
uh, don't use any char there. Just letter. No, I don't. Letter is wrong. No, it's not many one. Yeah, in this it's case, it should strange. be just many. Uh... Why? You're already doing that on the STR. You will just like change, right? Like that will be the new STR right side. Yeah, exactly. This will be the new parser for a, a, a like will be like this. Mm. So we have a problem though. Apparently. This is allowing the, the oh, label man. of the variable to have a space. Yeah. No, but dude, good. you didn't get what I was doing. Okay, I understand the problem of the space. Uh, but I saw saying another thing like you parse just the first character and then you leave the rest to be parsed later. That's interesting. How yeah, does that, that that's, why? That's what I'm kind of trying to do here, Maget. I just need to make the, the function here later. Oh, to... that thing is applicative, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, never mind. Then. Wait, but that's interesting, Maget. Why? Yeah, because Wait. sequentially, like. It will do sequentially, that's all. But the applicative also does that. Uh, totally unreadable. I <laughs> hate Haskell, but... Oh, for me, this is very readable. I can yeah, read this anytime. Horrible. Pick the first letter and concat that with many sh any char. That's absolutely horrible. You prefer the X expression way? Yes. Oh, uh, I actually God. prefer, like, writing. Not to be crazy operators everywhere. No, if you want to write, you can. As far as I can tell. Yeah, but I I know <laughs> that most of the code will not be like that. That's the problem. Yeah, it's because I, I don't know everybody. At least yeah, people every... get used to that. I hate no, 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 not only people in Haskell. It's very common in languages to having fixed operators. I think that's kind of it in this case. So yeah, but like I'm talking. Think of F sharp in fixed operators. Like it's okay. Fish is like universal, so I guess it doesn't it doesn't count. Oh my. Fucking god, Magetta, do you remember that, like, Victor? Or, wait, it was not Victor. <laughs> the golfing. <laughs> no, no, what is, what is the other next guy? <laughs> Vinicius. Vinicius, yes. You remember that Vinicius was having trouble? Because we cannot use the, like, colon colon as, like, a, a function. It's because colon, it is colon not a function. Yeah, like the compact oh, yeah, in yeah, because it's not an in It's a constructor. Really. Yes. Fuck, man. Yeah, but you have another one for that, right? Huh? Like that's just like that just works on pattern matching, right? Is that, wait, was that wait, the case? I remember. I, he was trying to do a pattern matching, and then like he was doing colon colon to dismember a list, right? I, I guess you wanted to use as a function, but yeah, we do have a function to do cons, right? I guess. Yeah, it was, yeah. But shit, fucking funny. constructor, man. That was funny. No, wait, but that's also weird, because constructors, they do work as a function in F sharp. Huh. Okay, that's Let me see. It would be funny if we discovered it's just a hard coded thing. <laughs> yeah, but that's so weird thing because they never take two arguments though. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's a special case constructor. Yeah, that's why it's a special case constructor, like in Pascal. By the way, that's also a funny thing, Magita. Because you know when you use like the tuple at the higher level in F sharp and Ocando, they actually instead of having like one type and being a tuple, they do have arity. Oh so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like that's why you're matching problem with tuple, right? So yeah. man, they did the worst thing possible. Yeah. I don't know regarding performance and the way you compile this, but regarding usability. Because you neither can use arity, mm -hmm. and you can't match as one as a tuple, so yeah, that's the worst case scenario. I think like on, on the, oh man, I don't remember what was the case, but then I just resorted to make a, uh, 
How can I say? And I think discriminated unions are better in that sense. Well, it's not the same usage, I know, but you can what just is like the score. Like, oh man, I never mind what I'm saying. Think of a tuple. Remember when we were doing that thing and I defaulted to exception to reflection? I don't remember the case. Uh, it was something that was. It wasn't a tuple, I think, but it was a record. Oh fuck the router! Yeah, the router. Oh, that was really bad, my game. <laughs> I'm that proud was of that so code, bad. Man. I'm really proud of that code. What are you saying? I. I that's no what, way, man. I did what was possible to be done there, man. Like the way Magetta was doing things, Lemus, if you change the name of a field, you change the endpoint of a web server. Yeah, that's perfect. So, <laughs> that's a big problem. <laughs> I see. It was working like a champ, man. What are you talking about? No, it, it was, of course, but it's just like very overprone, right? Well, you just don't touch. <laughs> don't touch. <yeah, I> <laughs> If you never touch the code, it's perfect. Yes, exactly. Oh <laughs> don't build no errors. That's it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but I don't. I don't understand this maintenance issue people have. Just deploy, make a DLL, delete the code base. That's it. <laughs> That's it. The code is there. How Why would you need to ever there? change the code that you made that you did, yeah, exactly. right? Why? Why would you? <laughs> code should be immutable as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, oh, so he, he it's, are... it's kind of it is, right? Well, on execution, I hope it is. <laughs> yes, you're right. But anyway, uh, don't you want something like uh, there is also this known of look for known of lemus. No, but this is grabbing a list of stuff and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, which is we can pass uh, the invalid characters, right? Like a space. Yeah, but what about multiple spaces, you know? Yeah, but then you can do many. Well, oh, let's play that then. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like you want you only need to care know? about one space. Oh well, yeah, that's true. I yeah, only need to if care you have, about if you, one space. Yeah, if I have two, at least you'll find <laughs> one. <laughs> like the one <laughs> you want the first one you'll fail, right? Yeah. None of, and then you put, I don't know, space, uh, tab, whatever this is, enter. Wait, I, guess I don't think problem. the space is like that, man. Oh, I and guess. it's a list, by the way. Oh, okay, but a uh, string is also a list, right, yeah. of characters. Okay, oh so... man, that's so fucking misleading. <laughs> yes, that's so misleading. <laughs> anyway, how to do space then? Remember, just leave space, I think. No, just since leave it's space. a list. Yeah, since it's a list. I, I guess. Think it is. Then it's not matching oh, the type. Oh. Because this is returning uh, a thing. This is also returning a thing. And this is returning many things. So we, we can't use just cones now. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, what about... What about... Oh, yeah. The person is... Yeah. Oh, okay. folks, folks. I think I know what you want to do regarding spaces. Uh, take a look on the follow. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, you discard the other things that you don't want, right? Then you value the characters. But then you need to do some kind of uh, goal until you reach a space, because a space is not really a failure. It's just you knowing that, oh, what you have, it's already okay, and you return. Yeah, that's true. The space should be... Oh, not yes, pay you, right? You should yeah, just return what you have. What the... What the fuck is that? What? The what? S what? is gone. What? The S is not there. <laughs> what oh, the what? crap? That's weird. That's, That's very weird. <laughs> it's not the only weird. You can like this character yeah, but, anyway. But not that is right, man. Like if you have tab and all of that, 
then you shouldn't fail. Because, sh- well, it might be what? the space of like, yeah, it might be the space. Like, how do you know you finished? What are you talking uh, about, man? A name of variable is a lo- everything yeah, between okay. spaces. No, yes, but exactly. now do That's let, let ABC space C. Let ABC space C. It's space D, sorry. Yeah, okay, that's work. That's fine. That's fine. The name of the variable is AB. So the variable didn't fail. It failed on the bind, which is not finding the equals. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good example. What you're doing is like doing something like, okay, so the name of the variable should be should not have spaces. Okay, I agree. But the thing is, you're now that's not possible. To match a variable like this, the name of the something with the space, it is because you're doing any char, and that's a problem. Yeah. Okay, but we can we can we can do it better because we can we have alphanumeric stuff here. Wait, what are we doing? Like the the goal. The goal is just, Man, it's just alpha num. We're with just dumb. Unicode because people want a smiley face. No, no, wait, 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 folks. So <laughs> what do we want? Do we want normal we want X? Many, we want many one. No, 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 no code, no code. I'm talking about what the user is seeing. So do we want normal ask stuff? If them, I would ask why are we still here? <laughs> <laughs> and the other, like, we should be done already, right? And the other is. Well, okay, other, cool. Is this any code or something? This... What do we want? What do you guys? We want this, man. We want this behavior that is already happening. Okay, cool. What yeah, is done. Done. Okay, so let's, let's let's alpha. No, but that's cool. wrong. That's wrong, man. You have a number to start with. We have a number. Uh, you see me like alpha this? Noon. Oh, no, that's true. Alpha noon. Yeah. Yeah, he's correct. So just part of a letter and then an alpha noon. Oh, Wait. did you have just alpha <laughs> instead of alpha numeric? <laughs> That's a good one, right? I don't think alpha. we have alpha. Uh, I think it assumes that, oh, if you want crazy oh, shit, you, you want all of it. You can check. Okay, you can parse one thing first, and then that thing first should be a, should not be a digit. Like, that's yeah. exactly what we were doing before. You just... Yeah. Okay, so many one letter, no letter. No, sorry. No, you, yes, you just, letter. No. just letter. Yeah, okay. So this is the I don't know the first, the first. Yeah. I don't know mm-hmm. like this. And if uh, first is digit, which we uh, we actually don't have this function is digit. What right? do you mean? Like letter cannot be a digit, right? Hey, letter cannot be a digit. Oh, it will fail automatically because of the do. You it's either do do notation or like applicative, I guess. Rest. Why not just a flip? Let str, frct, cons, rest. Oh. And then many. Yeah. Now it's just mm-hmm. many, not many one. Yeah, now it's many. Yeah. Alpha, Alpha noon. Nice. Um, yes, sir. That's right. Variable not in scope. Alpha noon. Okay. I have no Sour. idea what is this thing is complaining. Capital okay. N? Don't care. Um, Unexpected okay. one. Expecting letter. I think uh, it's one because your thing is one. No, that's not fine. Oh, no, wait. A now one. we can have a function, a, a variable name like this. Yes. Is the F1. Nice. Okay. Done. Okay. Nice. What the fuck? How did you spin that much? <laughs> because this yeah, is so much better this. than I don't think we we do have ASDF one in in, in the previous alpha silverware stuff. No, we don't. <laughs> we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly don't. Really? No, yeah. we do. We have everything there. Mm-hmm. Like talking about the third. we have. Yeah, no, that's not done. We just accept. We don't have a variable. You cannot have a variable with a number inside in the previous implementation. Are you sure? I think you can have any symbol. That's the point. I don't know. We're matching a range. No, no, no. Uh, I think it's correct. Everything aside from lambda and if will match. 
No, but it, it needs to be from the any char function. It should be in a range from the a my, uh, minuscule a. I don't think is. are we are we doing this? That's how we were doing because of the ASCII hell in Erlang. Oh, okay. If you are doing this range, then yes, we can't. Uh... Oh fuck! I was. Yeah, we were only getting from. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> It just doesn't, I guess. Well, Alpha Noon had some weird description there. No, what this also the... doesn't work. Well, of course. It's... Of course, it's a letter. It's not It's not a letter. I mean... Yeah, but then we should do alternative with the uh, slash, I guess, right? Because all all Unicode stuff uh, is... Uh, Man, is we don't have Unicode with this approach. No, that's what I'm saying. What about doing like this? No, no, if you want to, then it's a completely different approach, I guess. Really? I guess so. Yeah, then you are allowing more stuff as well, by the way. Like, it's a very different thing that you had to do there. I mean... <laughs> and what you're doing? Yeah, he Emacs is yeah, throwing yeah. me an Isn't arrow. It's not slash. Lexical... Slash, slash. Because it's escaping. Do a slash again. Oh, no, no, the same. Yeah. Oh, it's the same. Okay, you're correct. Yeah, because it one escapes. Ooh. What the? Isn't it P-string? Do they oh. have the same size? No, type, they don't have choice? the same type. Isn't it P-string instead? No, no, you still need to. Yeah, you still need to. They're still unexpected then. Expecting ladder or look at this error message, man. <laughs> okay, expecting only... ladder or this, but we don't have that. We have only one. Yeah, just like only because it's printing this way there, it doesn't mean that it's literally, you know, like expecting you to do slash something. Oh, but ladder, it, there are numbers. No, 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 no. like you it's see not, the unexpected it's string. Yeah, yeah, we are just trying to, f to to match the first one. We're saying, oh, or a it's letter, a letter, or, or it's gonna be this. Uh -huh. And yes, man, like right. instead of his smile face, do the slash slash one to nine and shit. He he will match because well, he's printing that way, but I don't think it this way the input. Oh yeah, I know. The but that's just you need slash slash, slash right? right? Yeah, it's just the way it prints. But you need slash slash, right? Like this. I guess so. Yeah, now it works, mm -hmm. but then I'm confused. Why can I just use the emoji? No. <laughs> like that's just the way it prints, man. It's not the thing you are yeah, saying. I think Nathan is talking about the representation of the type of the Unicode. Is different than the byte, right? It's different than the byte. Wait, can you like, say it again? That would be like this is slash slash numbers. They would be the byte representation, right? But then if you're adding like one two three, that's different from the byte Unicode that corresponds to one two three. I'm guessing. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's not we bytes that we're terms. talking about. Like, can you repeat like them again? Only one slash there on the char. See if you. No, I think then has That was complained. the escape, right? Can't you do something like in in F sharp, like arroba, like at, at the beginning? Oh, like another type of string. Do you have another yeah. type of string? One that doesn't like require this... escapes? Yeah. Uh, maybe text, but I, but then we're gonna have a problem that char expects a string. A uh, char, actually, yeah. not a string, sorry. Dude, check if you have p-string, because you have that on... on... p-string? Yeah, you have that on frsec, so probably you do that. p-string, like this? No, j yeah, it's not like capital letter, but it should be it, p-string. No, I don't think so. Yeah, that's Choice between chain, look ahead. Parse trace, then expect error. Yeah, nope. Is it just a string? That's a bad name if it is. No, we have a parser called string. Oh, that's bad then. 
I don't understand why that's bad. That's exactly what I want oh, to parse. In string. Haskell, maybe it's not because, well, it's not a parser. It's just like it's the random word string. But understanding Haskell because types are with capital letter, right? Yes. Is this By the way, Miguel. By mm -hmm. the way. Uh, on the thing I was like taking a look at, the grain line stuff. Mm -hmm. The way they do it is even on the parser. They don't disallow like the cases and such. They do that in a later phase calling checking for well formedness or something. Mm -hmm. So the Yardley can like give you better errors with that. So their parser is like very permissive. Very permissive. To have more information on it, yes. Oh, the functions about is something is inside the base. Oh, okay, and that's because they plan to add macros later on the language. I would assume. Isn't this exactly what we want, people? Yes. <laughs> we're, we're stupid. Wait, what? It's simple. Set select unicode symbol character. Okay, we're really stupid. I can code <laughs> we lost like more than a half an hour just Wait, just because we want emojis. Yeah, yeah, but click on this link, Unicode Character Database. Well, it should be all the Unicode, right? No, wait, okay, okay, go back there, go back there. Can you click there on those ones, otherwise, blah, blah, blah. Oh, wait, oh, wait, the present true, blah, 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 or false. Like. What? General the category. next symbol may be counterintuitive depending on one's oh, background. Yeah, because oh, like, okay. see yeah. those links, Lark, like math symbol, current mm -hmm. symbol, like those are the ones, right? So Yeah, anyway, we yeah. just might, uh, the same thing, we just do the following. Instead of doing all of this, we can just do any char, and then we... Wait, we no, no, wait, but nah, just, just, like, hear the following. What is the point of you having math symbols if you cannot have an emoji? Wait, <laughs> what is the point? I'm, just messing I'm with confused. Uh... Is Mark? Yeah, to have character, to have, a, mm. to see if the thing is, it has like action, a punctuation stuff like that. Check. Okay, but anyway, now we know how, how is alpha. We have the is alpha now also. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> okay, we can oh wait, what's the whole description, man? What? Where? Is alpha alphabetic Unicode character lowercase uppercase title case? What plus letters? Mm -hmm. What the fuck are mode fire letters? Title keys. What the is fuck? It? I have is no idea. Like those... <laughs> yeah, Maybe this is a lot of noise. Oh, I don't know. Title key. Is that the thing from like title on books? Like you what know when that? you start a, a paragraph. I don't know, man. Like I, they're different characters, so I'm just guessing. I have no idea. Anyway, how are we gonna do that, people? We're gonna do any char, then we're gonna do an if. Wait, is alpha. Also alpha. Any sharp will match. Anything. Then yes, if, but then if but this here's match... the, wait, 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 you wouldn't okay. need to backtrack. Wait, don't you want the predicate like parser on shards and then you pass the is alpha? You stuff the if. Use the do for that. Wait, I'm say again everything at You and have a char one. that you pass a predicate to it. Isn't that oh, a yeah. satisfy? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you have satisfy here. Uh, share to I guess so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so satisfy. Uh, is alpha. Um, uh, any char. Yeah. It's alpha any char. Yeah, that's what the, the what it applies if it satisfies. Okay, so this should work just just like before, and then the emoji mm. should also work this time. Wait, explain me the any shard there. Like, why does it take two arguments? That's the parser it will apply 
on it. Like it will just match by a condition. And if oh, no, 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 nothing is right. Nothing is right. It's, it's already a parser itself. It's so. already a parser in itself. Nothing is right. Well, satisfied doesn't take another one? No. Like you were expecting some kind of map, right? Okay. Now grab the emoji. Oh, I see. Makes sense. Because if it satisfies the bull, then it's already like, doesn't make sense for the. Yeah, forget about it. We can't no. make it. We can't make it. We are too weak, man. You are too weak. <laughs> we are too weak. <laughs> we can't have emojis. What the hell? We can't have emojis as name of the thing. <laughs> what is the point of life then? <laughs> oh, but that makes sense, man. Because like emojis doesn't start with alpha, right? Doesn't start with alpha. Yeah. Like emojis, they don't start. There is not an alpha numeric garbage, so it will fail on this first. I don't even know what an is alpha like is. That... No, it's like <laughs> A to Z, I guess. No, it is not. I don't think no, he's that's saying alpha. like, no, no, but he's saying like lowercase, uppercase, and some things that we don't know what they are. <laughs> yeah, but whatever, man. But dude, if you do A emoji, then I think it works. A Try emoji. That. Yeah, A emoji. No, but we don't have any shower on the next one. We have alpha noon. Yes, that's it's the same plus number, so it doesn't oh, work. Alpha noon, yeah, the alpha noon will break. What? Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> that... I am perplexed. Okay, go back there. <laughs> that's a problem, then. I guess that's a Maybe big problem. Alpha noon. Because this is failing. Alpha noon is not oh, yes, parsing is, yes. the emoji. So we can't parse emojis. Cool. Yeah, just change the noon to any shard there, I guess. Oh, you can do oh, satisfy. No. Again. Yeah, it's correct. It's just like it's not parsing the menu, right? The menu is coming empty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but you can do with any char. Oh, sorry. You can do satisfy again with a or of applying the functions of is symbol, is alpha, no, is alpha noon, is symbol, whatever. Wait, you mean in this line? Yeah, in the many. Like, the predicate should be a composition of those, uh, well, an option, right? Options of those functions. Yeah, but there's proper, probably there's a, a, a way to do what you said. Like, you have a bunch of functions that they have the same signature. Um, yeah, you take and then it should be any of those. If any of those match, then it's fine. Isn't that the choice that you want? Yeah, but it's not, but the choice is for parcels, right? Okay, I have an idea. Oh, you it's want like the any sequence. Yeah. Is alpha. It's like any. Uh, is symbol. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the other one? I don't know. Uh, is alpha numeric, actually. Is alpha noon instead of is alpha only. Alpha noon is symbol. One of those. Then you can have a... Uh... uh I guess that's a good time for Google, man. Goggly. Wait just a sec. No, Lemus is thinking. He's mustering all his brain power. To, <laughs> so we can have emojis. Uh... That's a good call. <laughs> to be that's a good call. Uh... No, good calls. So we a can have a, a Pumbalaka reason. emoji. Having what? Uh, you don't know about the meme, Nathan. Dude, dude, where are you believing, Nathan? <laughs> well, you dude. know what I do, like, all day. So. I, I, my day is literally talking to Victor about these shadow memes on the internet. <laughs> okay, so let me explain the error for you guys. So what we are having is the following. We have a bunch of functions that pick a char and return a boolean. The sequence is transforming that to a single function that picks a char and returns a list of booleans. Just hear that, Dante. Please do that for me. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you go to see again? Yes. So we have a set of functions that they pick. Uh, they have the same signature, right? So they pick mm -hmm. a char and return a boolean. The sequence function is 
like picking a char and 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 distributing the same char to all of them. Okay, and then you want to use the monoid, right? To see if one exactly. of those are... Exactly. <laughs> uh, but then this is... The, we are actually having this, right? So you pick a, a single char, and you, you're gonna pass this this char to all the functions in the list. Expected an actual wait. What? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So what is the satisfy expecting? The satis the satisfy is expecting this. But what is this th the type of this? Is this? And that's oh, a problem yes. be because we have. Uh, a, you can reduce, I guess. Wait, you just wait. find. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's because you, you are not using the monoid yet, right? We are not. If you, yes. So when you use, then it should satisfy the satisfy. Yeah, but stupid solution. Like, just, let's just have one before we start discussing. Uh, find, and then you find true. That is true. If you can't, <laughs> that's false. I just give you one. Okay? <laughs> now let's think. <laughs> Wait, I, I will send you that sharp function. Just... What you want is to pick the output of that and pass that to a fold, I guess. So... Like, what we really want, yeah. and not in a clever mm. way, is going through a list and the first predicate that matches, like, we return true, right? Oh, just one or. Or. Yeah. Well, in the case of wait. Can you do an or in a list? Can you do an or in a list? In a list of bulls, like in list. You do or like in true. That's true, his false. monoid that he wants. That's the monoid yeah. man. Yeah, I know. Can't you do that? Yeah, but that, that I'm trying to re to to figure out how I, because I never because we have this is a function, right? All of this. Yes. And then we have a shard to a boolean. And the sequence is actually the no, making it too. making it the transform into a list of bulls. So I would have to mm -hmm. to tackle the sequence. That's that that just let me think a little bit. That's not an applicative F map. I don't. Okay, I have an idea. I don't think so. Uh, um... What we want is list dot exists. We pass a prayed case. Yeah, that's fine. That says what it says. No, that's not fine. <laughs> oh, it is? Oh, okay, I get it. Like, it's different, but it does the same thing. Like, you just yeah. check, you want to know... It does not return the element, right? Well, it's fine, and then you convert the option to a boolean, right? Okay, yeah, you can traverse as well. Okay, that's a good part about being lazy at least because then you can do some like a bunch of shit and well you don't need to go through all of it right is this true what the f so, is that like? okay we are using sequence which is okay i want to explore using traverse it's, uh... uh check the atumalaka, please don't Oh okay, yeah, let me see. Yeah, check that. Uh... Wait, what? That's so fucking old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me That's your comment. How, That's how your you comment. don't know. How you don't know about that? <laughs> uh... I mean it's old in the sense that I, I know this. <laughs> That's so that's so cringe, man. Well, actually, <laughs> I never saw, like, only heard, right? But... <laughs> Dude, it's so funny what? talking to you. Why are you talking about that, man? Like, that's <laughs> older than we, I guess. Dude, you should you, you should see my talks with Victor and Benet. Like, we start to go crazy and we start to talk <laughs> about this. <laughs> Dude, one day I was oh, literally no. doing, like, a triple four loop with Benet. <laughs> Well, Victor was talking about, oh, like, go and go, you do this, go, you do that. So By the way, saying, man, why were you guys not using either there? Uh, then you, you just wouldn't <laughs> understand, but you just wouldn't understand. I really don't think so. You can the do exactly code, the same, the even the mutation. was using Ethernet. It wasn't readable. That's the problem. Really? 
Yes. Ah. Ah. But don't ah. worry, we just deleted the code because it was all wrong in any way. Man. Dude, we're really pathetic. We can't just do it any. That's funny, I can do this in Scala. Yeah. Hey, do, don't we have for in? In the shop? Uh, for? In. Mm. Like, you get the elements, not the index. So, for in, in a list. Oh, I see, I see. So, then you, it's not like you're prone and has better <laughs> syntax than the eater. Let me check that, man. Because we do have in JavaScript. Uh, isn't it all something like this? All? Yeah, like all. What is that? Do you have all in Haskell? What does it do? Uh, yeah, we do have all in Haskell. What does it do? Oh, okay, you were talking about that. Uh -huh. That's the end, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do have the for in. True. Oh. Okay. Where do you who go, right? Let me see. Does that make any sense? No. Okay. There's ambiguous reference. Oh, because of the text. Oh, because you are using PEC. Oh, crap. Okay, so qualified. Yes. T Man, we are doing such a mess for such a simple thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, we are. This is because we want emojis. A greater fight for emojis. No, no, no. It's I'm not talking about emoji. Like this line there, is such a simple thing. Uh, it's literally uh, like either. Oh, dude, 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 Isn't it just a fold map? It's just a satisfy? norm, and like the R operator. Yeah, yeah, fold map on satisfy. Composed with R. Well, yeah, the laziness view, yeah. Wait, wait, you want to do a fold map, you say? Yeah, like, think about this, like, a fold map on sequence on the list. Oh, actually... Oh, okay, so fold and map... Then you have the initial case, and it's an OR function. Yeah, but this... Yeah, but this way he will go through all, right? Yes. Yes, it will. The laziness doesn't save... Doesn't save your bad coding. Yeah. Um, I'm actually not you, certain. I'm not certain about what you said, not, uh, Magita. Yeah, I'm not sure as well. I mean, you could send, but then you have you still have to find what to fold, right? Yeah, that's the problem that I'm having because the sequence is the sequence is the villain in this case because it is transforming. It is picking all of the list of functions and transforming that to a new function. Right. I don't know the fold map, but what is fold of map course, takes? only fold. Fold map takes a function, uh -huh. and it takes uh no, it not takes a function. It just takes the thing that you want to fold and a function that you want to map. Also, maybe. So what's the signature? Yeah. yeah so the thing Foldable that you want to fold and, and the thing that, that to fold. Oh, Wait. so you can just send or. Okay. So it's or. With this, yeah, it's complaining. Why do you have this sequence there, man? Like, what do you want? I can't read properly the error message. I mean, we can also do I don't know test equals to this. Okay, so it's a boolean to a boolean. This thing, apparently. Boolean to a boolean. Yeah. So oh. couldn't match. Type list of booleans with boo. Expected char to boo, but got that. Because this is not a boolean. This is a function, right? Yeah. And this is also a function, by the way. Mm -hmm. Right? So if you want to use this, we're going to have to do the following. We're going to have to do something oh. like test2, which mm -hmm. will be this. Then we're going to do um, 
Pika C, Pika Char, right? Yeah. Pass that to pass that to test two. Hey, 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 hey! Why don't you map the thing? Then you do a R. R is operation that is folding with the north. Or you have the any man. You have the fucking many. Yeah, that's the any or the many. Any. Yeah, I was trying to use the any a long time. Like data <laughs> dot list. Yeah, data dot okay, dot any. No, 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 data dot list. List. Yeah. And what is that trying to do? Take a look on its type signature on the the rep. Data dot list. Yeah, take a look on the any. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's the same yeah. as the foldable one. Yeah. Is there, is the Man. same as the no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Well, Take a look on that. Boom. You see? Mm -hmm. It takes a callback. Yeah, we don't need a callback. Oh, what the fuck are you talking? Done. Wait. Finally. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. What is that true, man? Yeah, okay, makes sense. Makes sense, right? Okay, I'm not <laughs> crazy. Okay, so what is this doing? What is this doing? This is grabbing uh, a, a, f a series of functions from char to boolean, wrapping that in a list, applying mm -hmm. sequence, transforming to a function that picks a char and returns a, and returns, uh, a list of booleans. And then we are... Then we need to compose this, right? Uh, with or. Is that correct? Like that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to understand that. What is the sequence doing? The sequence. It is. He will apply the something same that you receive on every Re one of those, right? Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. And then you do a or. The or is, in this case. The or is grabbing the list of booleans and applying an or fold on them. Okay, that's simple. I see, 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 see. Yeah, this was pretty hard. We are pretty dumb. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, that's not hard at all. But does the R saves you of calculating everything? I no, not the R. The sequence. I have no idea. Because I think the sequence look, doesn't, but the R does. No, no, but if it was a... Oh, okay, the R does. Yeah, because it's priority, right? Yeah, but the sequence will compute all the functions, right? Oh, we can't have emojis! <laughs> yeah, we can. <laughs> but just for the sake of, like, talking about it, right? The any, what you could use is, the element is a function, and the callback that you pass, you basically apply the function currently on the shard that you want. Then you would shard circuit the R, and the computation. You don't need to apply all the ones inside the sequence, right? Just one second. Um, I didn't pay attention Please. to what you said. Yeah, so usually the any that you want is like a callback that you apply on all the elements, right? But in our cases, the elements are functions. Yes. So the function that you want is, is one that we will call the current element on a given chart. Yes. So you just pass this callback. Then we would have short circuit regarding computations. We don't need to compute all the functions inside the list of functions, as the sequence is probably doing. Um, it's hard to tell exactly if the sequence is obligating um, to uh, to do all the fun oh, functions, but. I Anyway, Hopefully. yeah, maybe or not. Anyway. Like maybe he only evaluates no, can, on the can R. Can finish the application, please? <laughs> the variable. <laughs> you mean. Oh, no. Good luck on that. But uh, it's already twenty. It's already twenty-three. <laughs> yeah, but we started pretty late today. Oh, really? Yeah, but there are almost three hours on here. I'm gonna stop the recording now.